This video is part of our course on modern C++ which goes from the absolute beginning all the way to a point where you can use advanced features of the C++ programming language. We even cover the four big features in C++20 and that is concepts, ranges, coroutines, and modules and we have a bunch of exercises to really help you nail this down. Please do check this course out if you are interested in this and you can also check out what others are saying about the course here. The link is going to be shared in the description below. I would like to welcome you in this new chapter where we're going to be learning about bitwise operators. And these are operators that allow you to manipulate data you have in integer types at the bit level. For example, you can move things around. Here on the top, we have an integer and uh, a binary representation of it in memory. And you see it's a bunch of zeros and ones as we have seen before. But what we can do is move bits around in one go. For example, the operation we've done here is to move all the bits to the left. And this one here has moved to the left. Everything really has moved to the left. And the one that we had here has moved to a location we can't see. So it's been basically lost. And uh, we're going to see ways you can do this in your C++ programs. And uh, this might come in handy, especially if you are doing some low level hardware programming. We're going to see how you can do this. And we're going to see some tools that C++ provides to do this kind of work. We are also going to learn about logical bitwise operators, the way we can AND, OR, ZOR, and NOT the bits that we have in our integer type. We're going to see how you can do compound operations. We can do compound shift operations. We're also going to see how we can do compound bitwise shift and logical operations. And we're going to be using the operators you see here. Don't worry if this doesn't make sense yet. It is going to make sense in the course. We are also going to learn about masks and these are ways you can highlight or shadow pieces of data in your integer types. You can shadow or highlight particular bits and we're going to see how this works exactly. So we're going to be exploring these topics and see some tools that C++ provides to do these kinds of things. But before we start doing any of this, we need a way to print our integers in binary format so that we can see the bits moving around. And we're going to see one way you can do that in the next lecture. Go ahead and finish up here and meet me there.